Now, how does the DreamCloud Premiere compare to the Lisa Sapira? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Hey there, I'm Wes with The Slumberyard, and over here we review all things online beds. And for the purposes of this video, we're basically taking a look at how the slightly upgraded versions of those flagship beds from both Lisa and DreamCloud compare and contrast. So in this video, we're gonna talk about everything that you need to know about these two mattresses, starting with the policies, then we'll get into their feel, firmness, construction, pricing, all while talking about their similarities and differences. And at the end of the video, I'll try to have a final verdict and answer some of the questions that you still might have, like, which bed will be right for your sleep setup and your bedroom. Now, if you happen to enjoy this video along the way, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for so much more, but let's just get right into this one. At the slumber yard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you. All right, so before I get into everything that you need to know about Lisa Sapira and the DreamCloud Premiere, I do wanna say that both of these beds and these bedding brands did send them to us for free to review and tell you guys about them. But if you order either online, they're gonna be backed by the following policies, starting with free shipping. So they're both bed in a box mattresses. All you gotta do is drag them inside and rip off all the packaging and the beds will expand in front of your eyes. Now these are both hybrid beds, so you might wanna give them a couple hours for those foam layers to fully inflate and you know, get to their true firmness and feel since they have been roll packed in that tight packaging. But once these beds are in your possession, you get a 100 night trial with Lisa and you get a full year trial with the DreamCloud Premiere, so 365 nights. But if you happen to not really love these beds, you can get free returns within that trial period, but hopefully you do like them. And if so, Lisa is backed by a 10 year warranty and DreamCloud has a lifetime warranty, which is pretty nice. And if you need any more information about these policies, check down below in the description for so much more. More. But let's just jump right into this comparison and talk about construction, which is one area where these beds are slightly similar. Lisa Sapira has a thin layer of base foam, then pocketed coils. Above that is a transition layer, then a second transition layer, which is memory foam. And then above that is a softer neutral comfort foam with some perforated holes for some added airflow elements. Now DreamCloud also has a thin layer of support foam, then its layer of pocketed coils. And for both of these mattresses, the pocketed coils are the main support layer for the beds. And in general, we recommend anyone above the 200, 250 pound range to look into beds with pocketed coils. But again, they can work for all body types. So that's pretty cool to know. Then above those coils, you have a transition foam layer, then a layer of comfort foam, and then a layer of memory foam, which is the bed's main comfort foam layer. And then above that is a breathable cashmere Euro top cover. And while both of these beds pretty much have the same amount of layers and a pretty similar mix of foams and coils, they are gonna have a slightly different feel. Now with the Lisa Sapira, this bed's pretty much gonna have a soft neutral hybrid feel. You know, it's gonna be really accommodating, something that we think most sleepers will be down with just because it is so accommodating for the average sleeper. For beds with this soft neutral foam feel, we tend to say that nine out of 10 sleepers could get by on it and probably will enjoy their night's sleep on it. And it's a great option if you don't exactly know what what you're looking for in a bed. Now with the Dream Cloud Premiere, this bed has more of a pillow top feel with a touch of memory foam. So you will slightly feel some of that memory foam, but it is gonna have more of a general pillow top feel. So something that's a little bit more traditional. Maybe it's like a feel you've grown up sleeping on or something that you felt in a nice hotel. But ultimately those cashmere tufts will make the bed kind of feel like you're sleeping on a cloud for lack of a better term, but it will be a slightly firmer cloud because the Dream Cloud Premier is right around a medium to a medium firm on our firmness scale. So it can work for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. But since it is slightly firmer, it might be a little bit better of an option for strict stomach or back sleepers. Now the Lisa Sapira, it's right around a medium firm on our firmness scale. So it should work for all sleeper types really well, back, stomach, side, and combination. Now, if you do want a mattress that is much softer, you can check out other beds from Lisa. They make a ton They've actually come out with a ton of new beds that we hope to try out really soon over here at the Slumberyard. So we'll have them linked down below. And the DreamCloud has an upgraded version of this DreamCloud Premiere known as the DreamCloud Premiere Rest. And that is a bit softer than a medium. So that might be a great DreamCloud option for any side and combination sleepers. The brand also makes the DreamCloud, which is a little bit more affordable. And Lisa has their flagship Lisa mattress, which I think is one of the mattresses that started this whole bed in a box revolution with some others. And again, if you need any more information about any of those, 
those beds, they'll be linked down below in that description box. But now let's touch on some X factors and things that couples might wanna know if you happen to be sharing the mattress. And in terms of temperature regulation, both of these beds are temperature neutral. So they're not gonna be doing any of that heating up or cooling down, definitely not active cooling or anything like that. So keep that in mind. But you know, being temperature neutral is in general a good thing. And if you did want an active cooling mattress, we will have some helpful links for you down below in that description box. But in terms of motion isolation, I think both of these beds will perform pretty darn similar since they do use those coils in combination with those foam layers. They do dead in motion pretty well. So you're definitely not gonna be waking up your partner anytime soon if you happen to get up in the middle of the night. Now, in terms of edge support, this is another area where both of these beds do pretty darn well since they do use those pocketed coils and have pretty nice reinforced edges, you can sleep as close to that edge as you want and won't have to worry about falling off anytime soon. Now let's talk price. How much are you going to be paying if you go the route of Lisa Sapira or Dream Cloud Premier? And I do want to say that both mattress brands and companies do like to change their pricing and promotions constantly. So this is as of when I'm recording this video, but you should be able to pick up a queen size Lisa Sapira for around the $1,700 mark after discount. And we should have that discount down below in that description box. And you know, we ultimately want to help you save the most amount of money possible with your new mattress purchase. So use that coupon code if you'd like. And if you do, it helps us out over here at the slumber yard. Now, in terms of the dream cloud premiere, I'm currently seeing it after discount for around the $1,100 mark for the queen size, which is a really good deal for a bed of this quality. So definitely check down there and use that coupon code if you like the sound of that Dream Cloud Premier bed. And again, that is a hard price to beat for a bed with pocketed coils and all those foam layers. But price isn't everything, so let's just give you our final verdict, which mattress is right for who and which type of sleeper will ultimately prefer which bed. Well, I would check out the Lisa Sapira mattress if you want a supportive coil mattress with more of a neutral foam feel that's a great option for all sleeper types and is right around a medium firm on our firmness scale. And check out the Dream Cloud Premier if you want a bed with more of a pillow top feel with a touch of memory foam, more around that medium to medium firm firmness, you like the sound of those consumer friendly policies and you want to save the most amount of money possible. But that's just what we think over here at the Slumber Yard. What do you guys think? Have you tried any Dream Cloud beds or any Lisa beds? Write us down below in those comments. We want to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button for so much more about all things online beds. You can always subscribe to the channel, but that's going to do it for this one. I'm Wes, wishing you a good night's sleep.